Good morning, everyone. Today is the day that I've been waiting on. Got full sun today. It's gonna be quite warm, even though it is kind of breezy. But I'm gonna be adding on to these houses. And I'm excited to get into that one. Find out if, I, if I've got a queen getting made, being made in there. Got my smoker if I need it. Got my bucket. Got my beetle be gone sheets. I'll be putting in each hive today as well. Please excuse my voice. I've been fighting something like everybody else, I guess. It's that time of year. Alright, so here we go with box number one. I call this one hive B. I count Lady Blanche's hive A. My eight frame. But the last video I did, I put these baggies in. As you can see, it's gone. I was pretty sure it was gonna be gone when I came out here today. It's been three days. Three days on a court bag. Well, it's not a true court. But anyway, I'm gonna be taking this shim off of this one, adding a box on top, and putting the, another new baggie out. Now, what I'm, I'm going to be doing, hopefully I can show you as I pull it out, but um, I'm gonna be taking two brood frames out of here and putting them in the in the top box. And I have three frames of starter strips that I've done. I cut foundation and strips. So I've got <clears throat> three of these that I'll put on outsides. So these will be on the outsides like this. And I'm gonna put the two frames, two brood frames right in the middle. You always want to put brood in the middle. Middle, That's where they keep it warm. If it's on the outsides, it'll run the risk of chill brood. So let me get started on this. So here's one brood frame that I pulled out. And they're all covering it pretty good, but I don't know if you can tell the pretty much solid capping. Just an absolutely beautiful brood frame. This queen has really done great. I don't see the queen on this frame right now. I looked on the other side too, I didn't see her. But the other side looks just like this, just pretty solid. So I'm gonna take this one and put it in the top box. All right, got that brood frame in there. I, this other frame right here is just, I'm just holding it in here. It's nice to have something to put it down in instead of leaning it on the ground. All right, now I'm gonna go back here. And this, this next one is also a brood frame. Now I'm gonna have to look. It depends on if this frame right here, what's on this frame. Because the frame that's in there, that first frame that I said it was holding with the, the pollen patty, the bit of pollen patty on it, that one is just a resource frame has no brood on it. Um, I want more of the, more brood frames on the bottom than on the top, because I want the heat to, to rise from those and help to warm the one that's on the top. So I may only end up with one up top. I'll see. I'll see what this looks like. I know this one's a brood. I can see it without pulling it out. Ideally, you want three fruit brood frames on the bottom for a five frame. I'm talking about a five frame now. Three brood on the bottom and two on the top when it's still some chilly weather and it'll help them move up to that second box. Also helps them keep it warm. Come on, slide over. All this propolis is very sticky. So here's one. All right, and you gotta move over. <laughs> All right, that that one right there. I I don't think it's brood. I don't think it is. Let me see if I can pull this out. Move it out of the way, babies. Don't want to squish ya. I see, I see nectar, I see pollen. All 
Alrighty. Now, when I checked these the other day, it was packed full of brood. And now, I'm not seeing as much brood, so I'm wondering, I'm coming to the other side here. Oh, there's my queen. Let's see if I can catch her on camera. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, I can't point her out with my glove. All right, well, she's on this frame, which very likely she's laying. Yep, there's brood in there, little bitty. Oh, where'd she go now? Oh, it's hard to see in the camera. Right, right there. Can you see her? See her long abdomen there? Looking for a spot to lay. She's beautiful. All right, so this is a brood frame. It's got teeny tiny teeny tiny in it so that's two all right well let's see what this other one is I had to end up using my smoker because they started coming out at me and I I just like to try to keep them as less stressed as possible all right let's see about this one. Oh, lots of pollen well not lots but some pollen some bee bread some nectar all right so I think I'm only gonna put one brood frame up top on this one yeah, hardly anything on this side. They're starting to put some stuff in it. This one they had to draw out because it was a foundation. All right, I'll put that back in. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this one in. Oh, there's one with its pollen. Oh, it flew off. I was going to show you its pollen baskets were full. All right, I'm going to get one of these starter strip frames and put on the outside here. Just like so. Scoot these down. This one needs to go down in there. I know it's sticky. Ah. Scoop these over. The one, two, three, four, and I'll put another empty frame right here. And then I'll leave that resource frame and the brood frame up top and fill the rest of the spaces in with the, the starter strip frames. See if I can get that one to move over. It's really sticky. All right, so that's what it looks like with those two new frames in. That one and that one starter strip. This is a resource frame, brood frame, brood frame. Now over here, got two Hang on now. I didn't count my frames right, did I? I'm missing two frames. One, two, three, four, five. I need two more frames in here. What am I thinking? My math is off today, isn't it? All right, got the second box on here. Grabbed another two empty frames. Got my beetle sheet, beetle be gone sheet. I have to hold it down because the wind is blowing, but so I got these two frames. This is the brood frame right smack in the middle so that heat can come up from the bottom box and help them warm that, keep that 
frame warm and then three of the starter strip empty frames is a tad bit of that pole. Oh, pollen patty oh well it's on the front frame down below <laughs> so that's the way I'm going to do each of these boxes on down except for that that one that's my split and in just a little bit probably another week oh there's a bee in front of the camera no, about another week or so I might be able to start making splits oh there goes my beetle sheet making splits off these that I'm adding boxes to because the queen's gonna come up top hopefully start laying some eggs and I'll be able to make some splits off of them as you can see I put the shim on I'm gonna feed them one more time we are entering into the first nectar flow of the season pretty sure we are because I can see things coming in I can see them filling some nectar spots um, I'm gonna feed them one more time just to help them give them that boost that they need busy 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 what I need to do on these, I need to knock out the entrance reducer on this one and that one. Look how they're just going in and out that one little bitty hole. I need to knock that out so that they've got a big, big space to come in and out. And they can all get in at once. And they don't have to wait their turn to go in and out. Let's see if I can find one with the full pollen basket on it. Because they are bringing it in, boy. Let's see if we can find one. Let's see. There's one. Did you see right there on the edge of the box? See, oh, she flew off. Why is she leaving? Bring that stuff back. <laughs> Look at my pretty boxes. I like the salmon color with the white. Got everybody fixed up. I wish I had more straps. I had to double up. I don't have enough straps to strap them all. So, this box right here, I was a little disappointed. It's only a four frame, not a five frame. So, I was kind of bummed about that. I ordered that from a different place, and it's just slightly smaller. I can't get that fifth frame in there. So, now I get to open up my split and see what's going on in here. Let's see. Now, when I inspect a hive, I always, like I threw those bricks over here to the side side, but I always work, if I take things off, I put it toward the rear of the hive. I don't put stuff in front of the hive. I don't like to do that because this is their flight, pla flight, pla flight path coming in and out. I don't like to disturb that. Let's see what's going on in this. Oh, lots of bees in there enough bees for this tiny space all right let's see what's going on usually when you have a split the bees are really when they don't have queen and brood to protect oh yeah that was my beetle be gone sheets that I and usually they're pretty calm because they don't have a brood to protect they don't have a queen and their mindset is just different than than a regular hive I'm pretty sure this was the resource frame and this was the egg frame let me see if I'm right on that behind me well there's some growing babies I don't know if you can see in yeah see the white filled cells right there well not filled they're filling that's the larva in there yep see it's like a C shape when she lays the eggs, they're first like a teeny, teeny, tiny grain of rice is what it looks like. And then, oh, there's some teeny eggs in here. Oh, good. Good, good, good. The teenier, teenier, tinier, the better. 
for them to turn it into a queen. I should get several queen cells out of this. Very good. I'm glad to see they're still alive. Very, very glad. All right, let's see what the other side of it looks like. Oh, look what I see. Look what I see down here. Look at this. They've already pulled. Yay. You see all the white filled cells? That's the larva. This one had different stages of larva when I put it in. Trying to see. I'm pretty sure I see, yeah, teeny teeny. There are lots of them hatching on here. Yay. Oh, that makes me happy. I'm going to turn this upside down. And I'm going to look in there. Oh, look at that. See that? Yep. We're going to have some queens hatching out of here. And how am I going to get those out? Oh, my goodness. They pulled them so close together. I might have to manage that. I might have to... Eek. There's no way I can... I can manage that. They're too close together. And they're not the size that I want. They're not big. I like big queen cells. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yep, I think I'm going to tear those down. It'll take more time. But they're going to draw out some better ones. I don't like that. And there's plenty of teeny tiny little uh, hatched larvae in here for them to make a better queen. Queens. Uh, hopefully this one on the side here I don't think has anything. No, that's an old one. It doesn't have anything in it. All right, so I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to tear those down. That's part of managing and being selective. And I want the reason why I took a split off of Lady Blanche is because I want a queen, a good quality queen. She's a really great queen and I want a good quality one. I don't want another inferior one like I had before that I'm pretty sure that's the hive that I lost. I don't want that happening again. So I am going to be very choosy. Very, very choosy. All right, girls, you're gonna have to do a better job now. That's not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. I'm gonna lay this over here on the side like this. nicely developed they really pulled them fast but that's not what I want all right girls I expect better of you now I want a big queen out of y'all well out of your other queen That one probably would have been a good one. I could have left that one because it went deep down in there. Y'all can do better. You can do better. I want a better queen. I'd like to see him pulled out of the Those are a lot easier to cut out and and deal with rather than several ones like this poked in on the bottom. So. Yeah, they're going to have to pull some more for me. And they will. It won't take them long. They get the message. for me now. I expect to see 
I expect to see more out of you. You can do better. I know you can. very very glad to see the development and the hatching of more eggs I don't know if you watched the in a previous video I explained what I had done I had taken these this split in the evening and a lot of the worker bees were in here and the worker bees leave and they go back to the original hive the nurse bees are the ones that stay with the brood and so I made that mistake. The next day I was able to come out here and shake a couple frames of nurse bees in here, but I just didn't know. I thought maybe I'd lost them, but I'm excited to see that there's lots of, lots of opportunities for them. Now this frame, when I put it in here, was full of nectar. I see pollen. It was a heavy frame and it's very light. It feels light. So I'm gonna have to get um, a quart jar. Yeah. Wow, they've eaten that up really quickly. Really quick. So I'm gonna have to get a quart jar. I've got sugar syrup made in the house. It's just not cooled off yet. I've did it with warm water so it would the sugar would dissolve faster but now I gotta wait for it to cool all right so I'll have to make in my notes what I've done out here so I know when to come check them again probably in another three days check them again So this is just a feeder lid that I made. Um, just took a, all right, y'all gonna have to move out of the way now. Let's slide this on here. Come on, you're, I'm sorry, I squished at you. You need to move. Just took a piece of plywood and drilled a hole in it. All right, so I'll bring a quart jar out here and feed them, make sure that they won't starve out on me. So, well, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Have a happy day and remember to smile.